Hey everyone, Red here and welcome back to another Res Requested. And today we have the Rapid Vanity Myers build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have Corrupt Intervention to block the three gens located farthest from our spawn for two minutes or until he puts reference to a dying state. Second, we have Monitor and Abuse to lower our terror radius when we're not in chase and to increase it when we are in chase. Third, we have Save the Best for Last, hitting a non-obsession grants us a token. Hitting the obsession will lose two tokens. Each token grants us a stackable, decrease the successful base attack cooldown, and we can earn up to eight tokens. And last but not least is, of course, Rapid Brutality. We can no longer gain Bloodlust, but hitting a survivor with a basic attack will give us the 5% haste stats effect for 10 seconds. Add-ons we have, of course, Vanity Mirror. Evil Within 2 will reveal the auras when stalking within a 16 meter range but we can never go into tier 3 with Myers. And we have Dead Rabbit to stack with Modern Abuse, because this will lower our terrorists while within Evil Within 2 by 25%. Overall, it's a pretty simple and should be pretty chill build. Make sure if you have a build you want to see on the channel, you leave it down in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, in game number one, we have on Midwitch. You know, for a Vandy build, you gotta love getting Midwitch, just so we can hopefully go for a few jump scares as well. Normally, Vandy builds... Oh, here we go. I'll say normally Vandy builds play a little bit more like hit and run, but I don't know how it will feel as a, a chaser build. Should still be fine, and I'll be excited. Plus, I just love Save Best for Last and Rapid Brutality, so always makes my day to see it as a requested build because it just feels so good to play. There we go. That is all we need to do in terms of stalking. Now it's just about finding the remaining survivors. Remove that for later. Easy. Monitor and Dead Rabbit basically give us zero terror radius right now. One there. And there we go. We got God Palette coming up. God Palette is down. We'd love to see it. Might as well keep holding forward for a second. Kind of a three count on survivors. Or at least we did. Uh, we can go and get rid of it. Oh, actually. There we go. She can take the long tile, so the free hit's nice. Maybe drops down? No, but we do have another survivor right here. Hi! Oh, you do get that, so... Oh, no! Oh, man. That's rough. That's, uh... It's a little embarrassing, but you know what? We've all been there. Cool. We have one person, actually. Nope, no one else is there. I heard someone working on this gen right here, so I want to make sure. Maybe not. Or, hi. Maybe a distortion gamer? I'm not really sure if I saw an aura there. Does have vault, isn't going for it. Fair enough. Yeah, okay, we're just going to go ahead and bulldoze. I think we have time to bulldoze. Nice. Now Forrester back into the hallway. We got one pallet coming up. Okay, not dropping. Sounds good. And there we go. This should give us a nice slow down. They took the time to heal up, which is great. And we might as well give this a little bit of a love tap. Now we just gotta see if we can maybe find someone over here on these gens. Well, we don't have anyone right here, it seems like, so... You know what? That worked perfectly. I could kick that again, but I don't think it's really worth. I think we just kind of eat this. We want to break it from the other side. There we go. It's not amazing either way, but... At least it's gone. Oh. Right here, huh? That seems brave. Perks of the uh, monitor combo, though. We have a very low terror radius. Thank you. Very greedy survivor. I can take a single hit here, and I think we gotta let it go. But maybe a pallet? No, no pallet. Cool. There you are. I figured you'd be hovering. We might as well just chase this survivor and leave her kind of slugged. She might be able to make it back over there and pick up, but it's not the worst thing. 
No, I think breaking this from here. Oh, okay, cool. It's not too bad. It'll force her into the room with the survivor, but she might be able to get the pickup now. We have one survivor who's in the event, so that's good for us. That means there's only one survivor right now who could be on gens. Okay. Nice. We're gonna try and get this. Cool. They were gonna greet it again. I know the survivor's around, but... Oh. Yeah, you got actually a lot closer than I thought you did. Or like you would. Can you not? Thank you. I think we just need to hold it forward at the moment. There's no reason not to. I think we're only... Oh, hey gamer. I was say, we're only really at fear of losing like one gen. And now we have two survivors on Death Hook. Alright, there we go. Looks like we did come for the save. If she stops, I mean, I might as well hit her anyways. Just so we don't have to worry about getting like stuck at the door. Ooh, so close. Oh, this is a little brave though. Okay, no dead hard. I just wanted to make sure since she was kind of greeting. No one's around, good. Oh wait, I do hear somebody. Oh, right above actually. Healing up, interesting. Well, we'll see what we can do to stop it. We also got a lot of progress on this gen right next to us. Already gone, fair enough. Oh yeah, we definitely have a distortion gamer. Because I am not getting aura read. There we go. We'll go ahead and give this a little bit of a love tap. That way it can regress. Hopefully a little bit more over time. As long as we can kind of keep them off of it for a while. Alright. Where are we at? Well, we're healing up. There we are. Okay. Peekaboo. <laughs> yeah. We still get to do jump scare Myers. I love it. Continue. There we go. Four stacks. Say best for last. Love to see it. Hi. I just got one more stacks, and this works for me. Once you start getting the stacks going and rapid with it, it just feels so good. Nice little fake on the drop. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bulldoze everything right now if I can. We have one survivor on the hook and every survivor injured, so... I don't really have a reason to not chase. Or uh, not hold it forward and eat some pallets, but... We got no... Okay, do we have... No. Hi. I'm really surprised that we have, like... It's got to be distortion, right? Because I'm definitely not getting the aura read there. I know there's some other perks that would stop it too. Like off the record could do it. There's a lot that could actually ignore that for the most part. Oh, we're both right here. Cool. Hi. That's one. Let's go for two. Oh, I have this door opened up. This survivor's on death hook, so I would prefer to leave her slugged and go for this one. We always chase this way. That way we can kind of pinch the survivor in the corner. Thank you. Still in the corner. Oh, never mind. You actually went by me. Kind of a weird little... I swear I heard her stay in the corner, but that's alright. This should be the only real pallet left. We fake to the left. Here we are. She does go quiet randomly, which is kind of funny. It's like at the perfect times. How much distance did we get, though? You're a little farther than stock. Okay. I'd prefer to check on these gens just to make sure they're regressing. We lost the one over there. Fair enough. We are closer to, like, one gen right now, so I gotta be a little careful. Oh, it seems like we have someone right here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. It definitely makes the game a little bit closer, but we have one survivor who's in the event right now. 
Okay, we're at this gen right here. This makes sense. This is the only gen that, like, didn't have a little bit of progress, so. There we go. The other survivor just got out of the event, so we have a little bit of time. I think we just hold forward on everything, right? And eat as many pallets? Yeah. I'd expect this survivor's gonna play pretty safe. Oh, nice on the hinder. Thank you. Oh, I thought I made it in. in. Oh, well. There goes the save. I don't think we have a respect, right? Yeah. Aww. I'd rather eat this stun and just kind of chew through the pallets right now rather than messing around with it. Trying to mind game on these kind of pallets is normally where you get burned at. Especially if, like, made for this is in play because you're just... You're pretty much fighting a losing battle. Cool. Fair enough. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'd rather not risk being actual like going for the swing. Hi. There we go. That's pretty much everything in terms of like palace run here. And both the survivors healed up, so we're not in like threat of losing the last gen. Now though, we just gotta find them. This gen had the most progress a while ago, and we are here. Nice. The fun of Dead Rabbit, though, and Monitor is just the amount of, like, how close you can get to a survivor before they get time to react. How fast can we catch this? Rapid's really nice. Oh, yeah, you don't get it anywhere. Love to see it. And then there was one. Thankfully, with Midwitch, as long as we can find Hatch, it's going to be really hard for uh, the survivor to kind of hide and get door. Oh, there you are. And for some reason, scratch marks are on the ceiling. Yeah. You can't really avoid the palace sound if you move that way. Were you pointing at me? I mean, I don't got to do anything special here. I just got to hold forward. Thank you. That's kind of one of the nice things about the build is that it's overall just overtly simple. I wonder if you have windows. Because you were just going from like point A to point B and dropping the pallets. Nice read. There it is. But now what do you do when there's no more pallets around? Yeah. There's nothing over here. There we go. There we go. A pretty nice and fun first game. Let's go ahead and get to the next. Yuri of Crows. Definitely not the best map for us in terms of like getting the most value out of a build, but you know what? It uh, it works and it'll be a fun little test. There's still, we can play on pallets. Both doors are down. I saw somebody moving, so we're going to the left side. That might mean that we have a survivor kind of like chilling right here. Maybe not. No sound on the gen, so we didn't want to stick to that gen apparently. This is the only other corner that could be in. Yeah, we got a little bit of progress here. Cool. I just want to get tier two as soon as we can here. And there we go. Well, that's our first mission of pretty much every game. Oh, did she see us? I don't know. Probably. Howdy. Yeah, Sprint Burst Gaming. No drop. Do we drop it the second time? No, cool. For the most part, I never really have an interest in like respecting a pallet until I'm given a reason where I absolutely need to. Just so we don't ever get burned. Oh, wow. You guys stuck twice. That's really unfortunate. Nope. I want my... Thank you. I want my stacks. All right. Well, we can get rid of the boon. She took her time to set up. That always feels bad as a survivor to only have it up for like a brief time and not get it, uh, get any value. I saw you over here. Where at? There you are. Cool. Oh, we do have a pallet right here. I don't know if I can really play around this pallet. Not really. She has to drop it at least. Oh. 
Easy break for us. Are we going for the swap? No, we have a uh, obsession coming in. Nice. Remember, if they're chase, if we're chasing around the hook, we don't really have to worry about like the anti-camp mechanic because we are chasing a survivor who's just intentionally by the hook. Cool. And yeah, we just hold forward. That's fine. I'm gonna try and play off of it. You know, with a lunge, I might be able to have it, but it'd be hard to kind of. Kind of hard to gauge how much distance it'd help out there. Oh, but this is a mistake. And you're hugging really poorly. Even if she was hugging it perfectly, it wouldn't have mattered. There we go. Might as well give this a kick just to get it regressing a little bit. You never know when that, like, passive regression is going to come into play. And we had the survivors busy, so I think we're fine. Oh, you know what? This works out even better for me. Only one strong pallet here at the moment. She's not going to drop that. She'll go for Shaq, right? Yeah, she went straight for Shaq. Rapid feeling so good. Are we healing up on her hook? Ooh, we are. Cool. You know what? That works for me. Five stacks and Rapid. We're going to catch up insanely quick. Oh, yeah. It's just so brutal how fast you can catch up when you get up, both of these going. Didn't make the same mistake twice. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's a that's a double win for me. Nice blind. We go to the right, I'm assuming. Ooh, we didn't. I actually didn't hear any footsteps. Hard to say. No aura read. So, could it still be off the record? Maybe. I'm not really positive on what she has to get rid of our aura read. There it is. Maybe it was distortion. Hi. The big surprise. And now we go for the two for one special. Oh, she's trying to play it. Yeah, you had to make that drop. Oh, come on, pick up. Oh, hold on. Hi. Oh, thank you. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. Thank you. That way we can at least get two extra hooks here. These guys are in massive amount of trouble right now. Okay, we're just running. Good. I figured with the flashlight, maybe you should go for a save. Up you go. We can try and go for this. Oh, that, yeah. Getting stuck right there actually hurt me a little bit. You got made for this. Should still be able to catch, right? Ooh, maybe not. Made for this is strong, man. All right, we got to leave it. There's just too many tools to play with here. And even though we're doing really good right now, again, we have no real tools of, like, regression outside of base regression. So we don't want to indulge in a very long chase for no reason but removing this survivor gives us a lot of time to play in the game and there's nothing here to play on oh she yeah she knows already held forward got a lot of distance i'll probably branch off of this chase because she's just gonna run to shack and i have no interest in really playing over there at the, at the moment did we come back and start working on this yeah we did and now you don't got a really safe palette to play with. Where do you go now, gamer? Cool. Might as well give it a little bit of a kick. We're basically at three gens, maybe two if they pop one. This gen over here is going quite a bit. Yeah. One survivor or two? Maybe just one? You want to use that? Oh, there we go. We got two. Thanks for the sprint burst. See if maybe we can catch the other survivor off guard. May catch him slacking a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hi. This should make the Meg want to go for the safe then. Yep. This guy, watch. Okay, we are coming back, going around. Hello. 
Aura read is always nice because it kind of shows you the mind of a survivor and like what they're thinking in a moment. I don't really know if there's anything I can do special here to catch her off guard though. Yeah, she's sitting on that corner. Pretty hard to sneak up and catch her. We can maybe go for like a play and just chill here. Oh. I mean, how am I going to go about this? Do I... She just sits there. I kind of want to make it to the pallet and kick it without her knowing. Oh, there's a window here. Doesn't seem like she's seen me, so we should be good. Hi. Gives us a lot of distance to cover up. Does she make it a pallet? Yeah, she definitely makes a pallet. Even with me cutting her off. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That works for me. Oh, I hear breathing. Hi. Eight stacks and rapid, so that's a pretty quick uh, chase timer here. Where are you going, gamer? Uh, nowhere. That's two survivors out of the game. We did get the pickup or unbreakable. It was a pickup. I ah, may go for you. Sprint burst, okay. I'm surprised the exhaust pulls back up. Yeah. We got her to second guess, and that was just enough time for us to get the hit. Up you go. And we have the last survivor in the event. Not really sure what portal they'll pop out of, but we can go find them. Oh, hi. That works for me. And there we go. That is today's build. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Really super chill to play. So try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.